The earth is dying. The earth is dying. This is so close to being considered wormwood. It's not even funny. Matter of fact, it just it's just it's so close to be considered that this is the beginning of wormwood, other than the fact that the Bible specifically says there will be a mountain that falls from the sky, burning like a lamp that crashes in the sea. Well, we didn't have that, but we did have a tremendous earthquake, folks, on March 11, 2011, that was 8.9. It was the fifth largest earthquake in the history of recorded humanity, and it brought forth a tsunami rushing ashore. The earthquake literally shook the ground for over six minutes. It was felt in Tokyo. Then the tsunami was so powerful, it came inland six miles leaving behind that right there, Fukushima power plant with six nuclear reactors melting down as radiation is poured into the land, into the air, and now into the sea or into the Pacific Ocean. Well, Fukushima has now begun pumping the groundwater, the toxic radioactive groundwater into the Pacific Ocean. According to the uh, Tokyo Electric Power Company, they hail the major milestone in the cleanup operation. Here's how they're going to clean it up. Dump it into the Pacific Ocean and hope it goes away. Are you serious, guys? Are you serious? What? That's what they're going to do. The operator of the wrecked Fukushima nuclear power plant has started pumping groundwater into the Pacific Ocean in an attempt to manage the large volume of contaminated water at the site. I want to thank Nick of New York for this report. Tokyo Electric Power Company said it has released 560 tons of groundwater pumped from 12 wells located upstream from the damaged reactors. The water had been temporarily stored in a tank so that it could undergo safety checks before being released, the firm added. Now, the buildup of toxic water is the most urgent problem facing workers at the plant almost two years after the Environment Ministry said 300 tons of contaminated Groundwater from Fukushima was seeping into the ocean every day. Oh, what? What? Oh, are you serious? No wonder the fish's eyes are glowing green. No wonder the paint is peeling off the fishing boats. No wonder there's no fish left in the sea. Starship, I mean the starfish. No wonder. Are you serious? Are you going to go eat shrimp on the West Coast today? What? I don't think so. Um, the bypass system of the groundwater, which flows into the hills behind the plant, mixes with contaminated water used to cool the melted fuel before ending up in the sea. Officials concede that de decommissioning the reactors will be impossible until the water issue has been resolved. Well, how long does that take? 30 years, uh, the bypass system intercepts clean water, groundwater as it flows downhill toward the sea and reroutes it around the plant. Oh yeah, right. It is expected to reduce the amount of water flowing into the reactor basements by up to 100 tons a day or 25% and relieve the pressure on the storage tanks, which will soon reach their capacity. But the system does not include a coolant water that becomes dangerously contaminated after it's pumped into the basements of three reactors as they're melting down, suffering every day after the plant was struck by the earthquake and tsunami on March 11, 2011. That water will continue to be stored in more than 1,000 tanks at the site while officials debate how to safely dispose of it. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy, have mercy. The problem has been compounded by frequent technical glitches afflicting the plant's water purification system. Uh, why don't we just go ahead and, and 
pour concrete over this whole area. Why don't we bring in the world's brightest civil engineers, the Army engineers from America? The wor there should be a World Nuclear Council. Oh, there is one. I forgot. They're on vacation. They're, we need to bring in the best and the brightest minds to figure out how to bury this thing how to seal it in a, t a concrete tomb for eternity instead of dealing with this. And folks, as the world gets more violent, what I mean by that? Well, as the earthquakes increase and the meteorites start hitting the earth more frequent, and you're going to see it, and as the uh, tsunamis in, uh, increase, and as the population increases, all these things will play a major role in the wormwood effect, which is actually in the Bible, in the book of Revelation. But people don't want to focus on that because that's, well, first of all, if you believe that the earth's going to heal itself, if you're one of these folks who want to deny the word of God, th then you're already deceived. If you're one of these other folks who could care less, let it be for another generation to worry about, then you don't care. If you're one of these other groups that are that are just concerned about continuing to the greed and uh, and at someone else's expense, just dump it, dump it, dump it. I live over here and I'm fine. It's all coming home to you. There's nowhere to run and hide. Wormwood. Here's what it says in Revelation chapter 8. And it says, and the second angel, uh, the first angel sounded, verse 7, the first angel sounded and there followed hail and fire mingled with blood and they were cast upon the earth and the third part of the trees were burnt up and all the green grass was burnt up and the second angel sounded and as it were a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea and a third part of the sea became blood. And a third part of the creatures which are in the sea and had life died. And a third part of the ships were destroyed. And a third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp. And it fell upon the third part of the rivers, and upon the fountains of waters. And the name of the star is called Wormwood. And a third part of the waters became Wormwood. And many men died of the waters, because they were made bitter. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Um, we're not to that point yet, but the waters are truly being made bitter or poisonous, and it's not going to get better. I'm Pastor Paul Begley, just giving you an update, a current world event, and how it relates to Bible prophecy. I want to thank Nick of New York for this report. God bless all of you. In Jesus' name.